I'm familiar with growing uh, lavender in Virginia because we had it for years on our farm there and I thought it was a Mediterranean herb. It liked hot and dry oh, okay. and all yeah. that. So I do have the plant here in Maine, which I've done absolutely nothing to. It, it's kind of on its own, but I'm sure that right. you have some tips for it because it doesn't look like this, I have to tell you. <laughs> I'm sure you have some tips to proper growing in Maine as far as um, you know, if you're planting new plants and right. harvesting and things like that. Okay, the most important thing is to make sure that you have the right variety. Whatever lavender it is, it's zoned for your area. They want full sun and dry roots, so they don't like to be watered. And a common um, mistake that people make is they put it in their flower garden with all mm -hmm. their other flowers, water the flower garden, okay. the lavender dies because it can't take that water. Loves more sandy soil as opposed to like a rich potting soil type Exactly. Of thing. We okay. plant ours in a sandy gravelly soil. Okay. We hill ours a little bit um, just to help with the drainage. Mm -hmm. And then we actually put some of the gravel around the plant. I don't know if you can see that, see? Yep. Um, we're hoping that that lifts the branches up and lets air get in there and dry out the plant. So it doesn't need rich compost, it doesn't need to be fertilized. Right. It, it really is easy and it just loves the heat and the sun. How many varieties do you grow here? Well, there are over 50, 450 wow. varieties of lavender. We Ooh. grow about eight. Okay. So we have mainly English, we have Hidcote, Munstead, uh, white lavender, rosia, and then we have a couple random Vera, Big Time Blue, a few other varieties. But what we're looking at right now is Hidcote, which happens to be my personal favorite because it's the deep purple. One thing we do with the care of lavender is we prune it in the fall. Okay. So we cut about two inches above the woody part of the plant and we shape it into a little bush shape because lavender will sprawl. Okay. So one of the other things that we do is we take those sprawling branches in the fall and we cut them off so they're not laying on the ground. We want air to get in there again and dry out those roots. And then we do cover our lavender plants in the winter. Okay, and that's one thing I don't do, which it probably would benefit from with a row cover or some kind of burlap or something too. Yeah. So before you're pruning in the fall, you're harvesting. So when do we want to harvest our okay. lavender? That's a really good question because I'm picky about it. Okay, good. <laughs> so I want the lavender in its bud stage, which is this right here. Okay. And when a couple open up and flower, mm -hmm. I know that those buds are as mature as they're gonna get, okay. and I wanna cut those buds, so I cut the whole plant. The important thing with lavender is the lavender oil is locked inside each bud. I want sense. that lavender oil right. for sachets, for yep. culinary. So once it flowers, it's gone. You bunch it and air dry it. Yes, we okay. do. 50 to 60 stems, a little okay. bunch, hang it upside down, mm -hmm. let it dry, and then you can do anything with it. You can flip it up, you can take it off the stems, right. use it for culinary. And lavender is an herb, so you can use it like you would any other herb. Right. Uh, salad dressings, meat rubs, marinades, but oh, you can also put it in desserts, breads, anything. It's right. so have one last thing I wanted to give you. Ooh. It is my lavender mint. I use it in my chicken coop, so it's refresh spray to kind of give the coop a little pick-me-up. You know, okay. when it gets hot, it kind of takes on a smell that you might not like so much. <laughs> um, but you can use it in your bathroom or your kitchen or if you have a garage or shed or something. Spray it, it all is over the place. beautiful. It comes out so pretty. I love the color. Thank you so much, Peggy. I really had such a nice time learning about lavender, looking at your beautiful plants. The air even smells good. What a gorgeous day. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming.